Hello everyone, Farmerville welcomes you all busy people to yet another learning video. So in this video, we are going to learn about the IPCA laboratories for 83 observations. So as you might be aware of the fact that a couple of weeks back, US FDA has issued form for 83 to IPCA laboratories, Pitampur in Dorfacity. So I hope those who are working in the US FDA approved plants, they might be aware of this. So well friends, IPCA in Dorfacity was inspected by US FDA in the month of June from 15th of June to 23rd of June 2023. It was almost 7 days audit if you exclude Saturday and Sunday. So there were 3 auditors who conducted the audit and their names were Rajiv R. Srivastav, Salim A. Akhtar and Wen Zheng Zhang. So guys, these 3 auditors has given total 8 number of observations. So let us go through all these observations one by one. Observation number one and the title of the observation number one is There was a failure to thoroughly review any unexplained discrepancy and the failure of a batch or any of its components to meet any of its specifications whether or not the batch has already been distributed. So well friends under this observation auditors has gone through the OOS investigation reports and they were not satisfied with the investigations carried out. Auditor stated that your investigations are deficient as hypothesis test did not conclusively support the root cause. You did not extend your investigations to the phase 2 for the manufacturing investigation. So based on the inconclusive hypothesis, you have retested the samples for the various tests and based on the passing results, you have invalidated the initial OS results. So under this observation, auditors has given four examples of the OS investigation reports which were reviewed during the audit. Observation number two and the title of the observation number two is the time limits were not established when appropriate for the completion of each production phase to assure the quality of the drug product. So this observation is related to the deficiencies identified in the whole time studies. So under this observation, Oiters has mentioned four examples related to the whole time studies deficiencies. Oiters observed that uh, during the whole time studies, all the required tests were not performed and data was extrapolated from the process validation data. Observation number three and the title of the observation number three is the suitability of the testing methods was not verified under the actual conditions of use. So under this observation, auditors found that dissolution test analysis was done by UV method, but during the analysis, system suitability was not checked. Actually, when dissolution by UV is done, then after six units measurement, bracketing standard is measured to check the system suitability. But this was not followed by the IPCA laboratories in the facility. So this is the reason auditor stated that uh, the suitability of the testing methods was not verified under the actual conditions of use. Now comes observation number four and the title of the observation number four is equipments and utensils were not cleaned and maintained at appropriate intervals to prevent the contamination that would alter the safety, identity, strength, quality or purity of the drug product. So well friends, during the walkthrough of the manufacturing area, auditors observed that one of the equipment was labeled as cleaned. However, auditors observed residue deposited on the surface of the equipment and they also found the scratches on the equipment surfaces. So because of these reasons, auditors stated that the equipments and the utensils were not cleaned and maintained at appropriate intervals to prevent the contamination. Now comes the observation number 5 and the title of the observation number 5 is Scientifically sound and appropriate test procedures were not deployed to establish the identity, strength, quality and purity of the drug products which were manufactured at the site. So on 19th of June 2023, auditors observed that the dissolution test which was performed using dissolution apparatus connected with an auto sampler. So after completion of the dissolution test, obtained results were not meeting the S1 stage criteria. So thereafter, S2 stage testing was performed on 21st of June 2023. So during the S2 stage analysis, auditors observed few discrepancies with respect to the test performed. For example, auditors observed that the dissolution test was not started immediately after dropping the tablets into the dissolution media. So dissolution operators was started manually when the temperature of the dissolution media attained the temperature mentioned in the STP. So here Oiter's concern is that after dropping the tablets, dissolution run should start immediately. 
ऑब्जर्वेशन नंबर सिक्स एंड द टाइटल ऑफ द ऑब्जर्वेशन नंबर सिक्स इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज एंड द प्रोसीजर्स एप्लीकेबल टू क्वालिटी कंट्रोल यूनिट वर नॉट फुली फॉलोड सो अंडर दिस ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑइटर्स फाउंड गैप्स इन द एल ई एस सिस्टम सो हेयर एल ई एस मीन्स लेबोरेटरी एग्जीक्यूशन सिस्टम विच इज यूज फॉर द क्यू सी एनालिसिस एंड द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन सो नो वट हैपन ड्यूरिंग द ऑडिट ऑइटर्स चेक द एस ओ पी ऑफ एल ई एस सिस्टम सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द एस ओ पी मैथड्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द एनालिसिस शुड बी क्रिएटेड विद द टेस्ट नेम हाउ एवर ड्यूरिंग द रिव्यू ऑफ द एल ई एस सॉफ्टवेयर ऑइटर्स फाउंड टेस्ट मैथड्स नेम्स लाइक ट्रायल टेस्ट जीरो वन टू थ्री टेस्ट वन टू थ्री एट्सेट्रा सो इन सिंपल वे वॉट वी कैन से दैट फॉरम हैज नॉट फॉलोड इट्स ऑन एस ओ पी रिलेटेड टू द एल ई एस सॉफ्टवेयर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू नेमिंग ऑफ द टेस्ट मैथड्स ऑब्जर्वेशन नंबर सेवन एंड द टाइटल ऑफ द ऑब्जर्वेशन नंबर सेवन इज द क्लोदिंग ऑफ द पर्सनल्स इंगेज इन द मैनुफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेसिंग एंड पैकिंग वॉज नॉट अप्रोप्रिएट फॉर द ड्यूटीज दे परफॉर्म सो वेल फ्रेंड्स ड्यूरिंग द वॉक थ्रू ऑफ द फैसिलिटी ऑन फिफ्टीन ऑफ जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑइटर्स ऑब्जर्व दैट द पर्सनल गाउनिंग विच वॉज यूज इन द कोअर मैनुफैक्चरिंग एरियाज वॉज नॉट मेनटेन्ड क्लीन टू प्रिवेंट द कंटेमिनेशन Specifically, stains were observed on the gowns of the personals which were working in the dispensing and the compression areas. Auditors also observed that the gowns of some of the personals were in the torn condition and they were having small holes on it. So, after observing all this, auditors finally stated that you have not followed your SOP for the laundry procedure, according to which gowns should be. checked for any kind of damage before sending for the washing and if any damage or a torn gown found same should not be considered for the washing however this was not followed and finally auditor stated that you have failed to follow your sop now comes the last observation which is the observation number 8 and the title of the observation number 8 is procedures describing the handling of all the written and oral complaints regarding the drug products were not written and followed so under this observation auditor stated that as per corporate sop for handling of the drug product complaints there is a one clause mentioned according to which all the kappas which are initiated in reference to the product complaints shall be reviewed for their effectiveness check and if in case kappa is found to be ineffective then a new kappa shall be assigned by reinvestigating the complaint now auditors found that uh, this clause was not followed by the firm for example in 2021 there was one complaint received regarding the issue of no label on the drug product bottle so investigation was done and complaint was classified as a major so based on the investigation outcome kappa was implemented so after kappa implementation kappa effectiveness was performed and closed however similar issue was reoccurred for the same drug product for four times in 2022 and two times in 2023 so this demonstrate that your kappa is not effective now as per cqa sop in case of kappa ineffective new kappa should be assigned based on the investigation however same was not followed So guys these were the eight observations which were issued by US FDA to IPCA laboratories in our facility so whatever the examples mentioned in the form 483 we have understood all of them if you still want more details about these observations then you can check the link given in the description or you can visit the US FDA website to download the form 483 so this is it for today hope you have learned something new today bye bye and happy learning